the ocean explorer has arrived at the largest glacier in Svalbard. Austfon. This 3,000 square mile slab of ice is 10 times bigger than New York City. Every summer, meltwater pours off it. And as the temperatures increase, these waterfalls are expected to get bigger. Are these uncontrolled rivers melting the glacier faster? The team brings in top ice scientist, Andreas Alexander. Andreas Alexander is a glacial scientist. He studies the way that glaciers are changing over time. And he's been doing this for many years. So he's an expert in all the subtle ways that glacier movement may be affecting the environment around it. Melissa Marquez will also be helping Andreas on this mission. Glaciers are changing up here very, very fast. Yeah. They're melting. And every year we get more melt. What is happening at the edge? where the ice meets the ocean. We don't know how much water actually is flowing through this channel. How fast is the water flowing? At what temperature is it? And a big challenge that we are facing is we can't measure it. Lucky number seven. But Andreas hopes to change that with a new piece of tech. Oh my gosh. This is a drifter. There you go. The plan is to drop it into a river 10 miles inland on the glacier. It will travel down the rapids, recording the water speed and pressure on the ice. Finally, if the drifter makes it to the front of the glacier, it'll tell us how much these rivers and waterfalls are influencing the rate of retreat. <laughs> 